Let's make this the shortest video we've done on this channel. It kind of has to be. I don't really have a choice. I'm leaving for Japan in five hours. It's 1230 in the morning. I should be sleeping, but I'm not. I'm making this video. And that's the whole intro. Let's just go. Let me quickly tell you about these two new plugins for all you streamers that I, I worked with Owned to make. And just hear it out because Owned is a, a big reason I can pay employees. Owned.pro used to be about big flashy overlays back when that's what everybody wanted. But nowadays, everybody wants to be as clean, as simple, as minimal as possible. And they've made a ton of widgets. I worked with them to make the same two widgets that we made with Meld a little bit ago, the train widget and the spotlight widget. Now with just a couple clicks with Owned.pro, you can add two really aesthetic looking elements to your stream that not only show people who your most recent donators are, subscribers, members, but then also make it a fun gamified experience with the hypometer where every five minutes that bar is going down and every time someone brings it back up to 100%, the number increments by one. Head over to own.pro, add those to your stream today and check out anything else that you might like over there. Put a link to it down in the description below. Let's talk about 4K streaming, both on Twitch and on YouTube because there was a tweet that came out from an OBS developer recently that explained, hey, you can stream in 4K on Twitch now. That's a new thing, you can do that. So, oh, some of you can do that. I actually had a really hard time figuring out who could do that. I had to tweet out to all of you guys, say, can you do this? It looks like it's brand new. They're rolling it out little by little. They're only giving it to experimental streamers right now, but I wanted to give you guys the heads up of how to do this. So as it continues to roll out, you'll know exactly what to do. I messed up a couple times. The first time it looked like this. Hold on, are we good? We good, are we dropping frames here? That's not my best. I thought that might happen and it did. So we figured out a better way. Now with YouTube streaming, you've been able to stream in 4K for a while, but Twitch, this is relatively new. So let me show you how this works. So as soon as you get access, you know how to do it right. First thing you need to do, this is only gonna work if you're using enhanced broadcast, sending your stream to Twitch in OBS. The way to do this is by going into your OBS settings, go to the stream tab, then check the box that says enable enhanced broadcasting. What enhanced broadcasting does is it saves Twitch a lot of money. How it works is instead of sending Twitch one video file like you normally do in OBS, and then it transcodes it into multiple resolutions for your viewers to pick whatever one they wanna watch, you are instead doing the transcoding on your own PC. You turn it on, you stream, your computer turns your stream into 1080p, 720p, 480p, 240p, whatever they are, and then it sends all of those video files to Twitch at once. Right now, this really only helps small streamers who don't get transcoding options, but as soon as 4K streaming rolls out, this is gonna help everyone get 4K and 1440p streaming. Okay, make sure the two boxes underneath that are checked. Step two, make sure your stream is actually a 4K stream. Your canvas has to be 4K in order to export a 4K file, so adjust that. Once you have those two things done, enhanced broadcasting turned on and your canvas set to 4K and then Twitch gives you the green light, you are sending 4K to Twitch. Cool, so we have 4K video sending to Twitch. How do we also get 4K going to YouTube at the same time without blowing up your PC like I did? We good? Well, there's a secret little trick. Let me give you the play by play here. First thing you're gonna do, make sure your stream key on YouTube allows for 4K. Next thing you're gonna do is install the free Atom multi-stream plugin. I will link that down below. It's a free OBS plugin, pops right into your OBS window. Sign into all the places you wanna stream and you're done, both horizontal and vertical. And in fact, there will be new features coming very soon to that. Multiple new features coming very soon. I can't talk about any of them. Stay tuned. Now, when you first add Ada Multistream to OBS, it will have one stream already built into it. That is your built-in stream. That's the one you are signed into with OBS. And because you're signed into Twitch, which you will need to be signed into Twitch to use enhanced broadcasting. I forgot to mention that earlier. It's one in the morning. That one is already there by default. You'll need to go to the multi-stream settings, go to main canvas and add a new output. Click on YouTube, paste in your YouTube stream key and then click on advanced settings. Okay, here's what I did to blow up my computer and ruin my entire stream. I knew that YouTube could handle AV1, which is just a higher quality encoder if I were to oversimplify it. So I set my YouTube stream to be a 4K AV1 stream that I encoded at 20,000 megabits per second, which is what I used whenever I just went live to YouTube. And it was too much, even for my 4090. It couldn't do it. But here's the secret. If you switch that back to main encoder, what that's doing is it's taking the encoding that's already going to Twitch and it's just grabbing it and sending it to YouTube. And the secret kicker is if you go live on Twitch first before going live to YouTube, then you go back to those settings, there will be 
another set of settings, another drop down box right there that shows you all the different encodings that it's doing for Twitch, all the different resolutions, and you can pick one. Because remember, with enhanced broadcasting, it encodes like five or six different resolutions. You can pick the 4K one and say, that's the one I wanna go to YouTube. And that's it, that's the whole tutorial. How long was this video? Do we do it under five minutes? I don't know. I never get those right. I'm editing this on the plane. I'm gonna get to bed. I love you guys. Hit the subscribe button if you wanna see more videos like this. Like the button if you haven't already. Leave a comment down. Just leave your favorite emoji in the comments down below for engagement. I will see you guys next time. Happy streaming.